but I, I think the the other thing to balance off with AI is it still needs a human element to it. And I think what's going to happen, certainly when when everyone becomes very familiar with AI and it's part of their daily toolkit, you'll probably get to a scenario where everything is so AI generic that humans will want something a bit more human. So I think really that there's going to be a blend of balancing all the great things that AI can do, but still with that human touch. Remember, AI can't originate. Yeah. We still need human beings to come up with something new, new. So I, I think really that's that for me is where the excitement's going to be. And I think we're going to see a lot more creativity as well. I think there's a lot of noise, certainly around from photographers and videographers who have you know cameras and film and all that kind of stuff. And, and they're scared that AI is going to remove them out of the equation. I, I don't think that's going to happen at all. I think AI is going to make them even more creative with photography or videography. They'll be able to create better quality films you know so i i, I think ai it's, it's here to stay definitely but i, I think it's here it, it's a very helpful tool to have for any market yeah absolutely i think it almost it almost kind of creates a full-time job just for somebody to look after whether it's doing what you asked it to bloody do in the first place which is one of my pet hit do not use court marks in your outputs in this statement absolutely. court mark court mark. why why oh, oh it does my you have to, you do have to treat um, chat GPT or whatever LLM you're using as a child or, you know, a young employee. You have to keep it you know, reminded of the rules. And I, I think as the LLMs are constantly growing, you have to in constantly increase your engineering prompts and training the, these chat GPT. So yeah, it, it's, it, it can be, a, you know, a full-time job looking after your GPTs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we're heading into the end of the show now, Paul. So I've got a couple of questions that I ask all of our guests. Um, and the only proviso on the answers of these is that they can't be the opposite of each other. So they are very opposite questions, but okay. you, your answer to one can't be the opposite of the other. Um, 